Uh, let's go over our final story. This is a, a good one. Really good. Um, I don't know where I've been. Let's talk about Jaguar Wright. Okay, so Jaguar Wright is a famous singer. And I guess a couple years ago, she was hot on the internet because she was dropping secrets of celebrities, like just telling it like it is. I guess uh, she had a big interview with some high profile bloggers. Uh, I don't know where I was for all of this. I did not know who she was. I, she's a good friend of Nosy's. And so uh, one day I called into Nosy's show and she was on. I can't remember what we were talking about. She was on and I think I've been on panel with her probably like three times. So when she was saying things uh, about people, she's been in the industry a long time. Um, I was like fascinated. <laughs> and everybody was like, where have you been? <laughs> where have you been? You know, Jag is going to tell it like it is. Her name is Jaguar White. I'm sure you, Jaguar Wright. I'm sure you guys know her. I did not know who she was. I just thought, oh, there goes Nosy's friend again. I did not know who she was. I wasn't there for the big showdown with some high profile bloggers. I wasn't there for it all. But anyway, she is famous. For, mu for her music and some high profile friendships that she didn't had. And uh, she just knows everybody in the business. So she knows everybody in the business. So the day the whole takeoff thing went down, I just happened to be on panel. Okay. So it's me, Jag, and some other woman. I think she's a blogger. I'm crying because I was devastated. I was shocked about the uh, takeoff situation. So I'm sitting on panel with Jag and somebody sends me some information on the hotline. Remember that Perry? Mm -hmm. So I read it as it's coming in. I always say, Oh, nosy. I just got this. So I'm reading what the person said. They said there was a, oh God, what they say was there was a, a dice game. It was a dice gone game. Bad. Yeah. Basically gone bad, gone bad. And, yeah. uh, and so Jack's sitting there and she's figuring this out. She said, well, who was at the dice game? So I say Quavo and Migos and, and, so, 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 and some guy named Jay Prince. Said, Jay Prince. She's no, 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 no. This is serious, right? She's mm -hmm. serious. She said, they run that town. And she's saying this on camera. They run that town. She said, mm, I don't, and he was at the party and she's getting suspicious. And she's like, something don't sound right. And then uh, Jay, uh, Prince Jr., no, Jazz Prince comes out with a statement of how he wasn't there. She's like, this does not sound right. So from the beginning, she was like, she know the players, she know everybody involved, and she was like, mm-mm, because I know how these things go down. So she uh, made a tape, and this is her, her version of what she thinks allegedly happened. We got to use the word allegedly. Uh, and it's very interesting. And Perry, you said the first day too, this is a Biggie Tupac situation. Remember you yeah. said that? Yeah, when you have all those like famous people, like entities in the same room, uh -huh. one side or the other going to pay. Uh -huh. Most of them are going to just stay the hell quiet. They have stayed the quiet and try to fix it on the streets themselves. Mm, almost that's like exactly. the Biggie mm -hmm. Tupac thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hold on. Let me play this tape. I think she has solved it. I believe her down to a T, but let me just play a little bit of what she said and tell me if you think this is exactly what happened. This is my opinion. I'm allowed to believe whoever I want. Takeoff was a setup, period. Who did it? Ain't nobody gonna ever find out or know. Ain't nobody ever gonna know. And now the so-called alleged shooter the 16-year-old boy, the shooter, who killed him, has, was just found dead just, what, one, two days ago in Houston in the fifth ward. All I can say is God had his hand on Quavo. God had his hand on Quavo because they both could have easily been gone. You know, people take this whole fame thing for granted. 
everybody thinks it's so great. Everybody thinks it's so awesome. Everybody thinks it's so amazing. Oh, yeah, and I got the cars and I got the this. You need to understand something. The second that you are no longer financially viable to these motherfuckers, they will find a way to move your ass around. There's absolutely no way. Any, any member of the Migos were invited to Houston to go to a party of the most powerful music family in the city and get touched. No way. No way. It was a dice game, but the footage that I saw that popped up on TMZ, wasn't nobody um, playing no dice. The takeoff wasn't sitting down and accidentally got hit. No, he was running. He was taking off and then somebody started busting shots and he got hit in his head. When they done with you, they done with you. Then they collect the money off the insurance policy that they put on you, and then they, they memorialize you, and then they sell your records forever, just like Honeycomb been doing with Biggie. Honeycomb been eating off Biggie forever. Honeycomb home has been eating off Biggie longer than Biggie was fucking alive, my nigga. Like, is anybody, like, no, I don't think anybody really gets that part. Biggie wasn't even 30 when he died. He was, what, 25? Biggie been dead. Damn it, 30 years. Damn. Now, what she's saying, and this is what she's saying. And she said this this day when we were on panel, the music business is dangerous, mm -hmm. especially for those rappers. Did you remember when RJ with Death Row? Do you remember that? Yeah. How yeah. dangerous mm -hmm. Suge Knight was? Yeah. She's saying that. Uh, the Prince family, there's the Prince Sr., who is the owner of uh, Rap-A-Lot Records, his children, Jazz and, and uh, J. Prince Jr., are dangerous. She's saying they're dangerous. And she's right. First of all, this happened at a public event. Where's the surveillance cameras? Why is she telling us more than the police? Well, this is the new Tupac and Biggie of this new generation. And you could say that, right? And it's a public place where you had a lot of people. And a even lot. if if they and didn't no, have to, nobody seen anything, right. come on. My question would be not even if it wasn't no surveillance. Where's the where's the one or two people out the place that cared that decide to talk? Nobody cared enough to talk or Except tell you know, the nurse okay the nurse was across right, the street right right okay nobody's uh, talking i'm just involved. saying that's a, that's a lot of damn people in there mm -hmm. for you take this person version of it here and there where you can narrow shit down is what i'm mm -hmm. trying to say it's a lot of eyes in there yeah i believe yeah. her i believe this case is never going to get solved I just believe everything she said. And she started from day one. Well, we were just talking about what happened. And she would say, uh, what does this person say to you? Uh, that doesn't make sense. Like, and you know these people. This ain't something she... You have a more of an inside, clear view when you know all parties involved. Yeah. I mean, when you know, like, we can know them from the outside. But when you sort of know uh, people, character, personally, mm -hmm. then it makes more sense to you. And don't forget, Duke the jeweler had the same thing happen to him the month before. So, you know, these people are dangerous. These people are dangerous. They're saying that, uh, so they're going to have a funeral for um, takeoff. takeoff on Friday in Atlanta. Public event, almost like a stadium type thing. Lots of people are going to be there. They said it's sold out. Justin Bieber is supposed to sing. Everybody's going in because they don't like Justin Bieber. Like, it's to show your respect. So, come on, y'all. Yeah. It's not a concert. Stop. I think they added Alicia Keys, too. Today I seen something like that. And then there's a rumor going around that, listen, everything Jazz said that day on that panel is true. It's dangerous to be a rapper these days. Especially when the heads are... Got bad reputation, Suge, Suge Knightish reputation. It's this very dangerous. This is also this clip going around of uh, Jay Prince, the person that's supposed to be heavily involved. Uh, they, he has a bad reputation. 
calling him dangerous, the whole damn family. And that I guess he had denied that he had been to prison. And now this clip is circling the Internet. I know that's who I think it is. I know that's who I think it is. Courtesy of it, man. Courtesy of it, man. That's chandelier, motherfucker. Yes, yeah, sir. Mob ties business, man. And that's thousands of dollars. So look, these people are dangerous. Anyway, there's been a, war a warning issued out saying that they better not arrive, the Prince family, to the funeral. Mm. I hope everything's okay at this funeral. I just do. But this is a crossover group. And it's the, he, he, he has a huge fan base like Tupac and Biggie. Huge. He was a superstar. So that's what's going on.